Well, the inspiration behind this garden came, weirdly enough, from a holiday in Libya. We'd been to the uh, ruins in Benghazi, uh, they're called Ptolemaeus, Roman ruins. And, uh, but it wasn't really until I designed the garden and used these amazing concrete sculptures, these tall columns, that I, I sort of made the connection. So obviously there was something uh, going on in the subconscious. The plants really are, are a mix of self-seeders and also colonizers. So um, w w the, the main reason for that being that I wanted the garden to have a life of its own, something that would change over the years. And, and it fitted in with this sort of uh, Roman ruin look, really, if you like, because it was very barren at Ptolemaeus, a few eucalyptus trees and uh, a few scrubs and goats. Um, but here, I just wanted to pretty it up, if you like, and uh, add a lot more colour to it. So that, that was really the reason I've chosen things like, um, you know, irrigaron and fennel. And uh, I've managed to squeeze in some yellow umbellifers, which actually are my parsnips I dug up from my allotment. This is my fourth garden at Chelsea, and I'm doing it for the Daily Telegraph. The build has gone absolutely fantastic. We've had Crocus as our contractor. They've also supplied the plants. So I feel very privileged and I'm very grateful to have them on board because it's meant that uh, everyone's been working as a team. Everyone's been so enthusiastic and devoted to this garden, the whole idea of it. Um, that I've, I'm, I'm really, really lucky to have such an amazing team. Um, I was very keen to put water in the garden. The water is always so important, especially at Chelsea. It sort of instantly creates a bit of magic. And we decided to use something very simple, some pipes coming out of the wall which relate to the big tall columns. Well, I've used uh, some sculpture by the sculptors Serge uh, Bottegizio and Agnès de Coux, who are French sculptors down in the south of France. And I've worked with them before at Chelsea a couple of times, and this is, uh, these are perhaps one of my favourite sculptures they've got, these tall columns, three metres tall. It's, it's very difficult to place sculpture, and then this just felt that it needed something vertical. And I'm really happy with it, not only has it reminded me of this particular trip to Ptolemaeus, but they've got an amazing presence. One thing I was really keen to explore in this garden was the contrast between old and new and I think I've achieved it by using all of this old stone, dry stone, Cotswold stone, which is absolutely fabulous. The cobbles again which are from the same Cotswold area, the gravel, uh, but then we've, we've got yew which is like a, a traditional note in the garden box, but then we put in the columns, very, very contemporary. And what I'm hoping is that, uh, especially for my clients, that they'll see how amazing it can be to mix old and new ideas successfully in the garden.